What is up, fam? So, we're here at Autocross Amarillo. It is the final night event of the summer. Uh, it's Saturday night, it is what? Almost nine o'clock Texas time, and then we'll probably be out of here about two o'clock. This is the track map. You can see that middle section is going to be fast. At least I hope it's gonna be fast. It looks like it's gonna be fast. Everyone says it's gonna be fast. I haven't walked the track yet, but we'll see. I just pulled up, about to empty all my junk out of the back, and uh, get tacked in I'm gonna go walk the track probably two three times I'm super excited I mean I haven't really since the last event we haven't changed anything except for um, so I took off the turbo smart blow off valve because I think it was kind of getting stuck open on throttles like if I was full boost and let off real quick and then got back on it would kind of stay kind of stuck open so I switched back to the stock diverter valve haven't had that issue since and then um, I had the Precision Raceworks four bar sensors in the throttle pipe and in the manifold. Well, it kind of acted, the one in the manifold doesn't read pressures just correctly, like not precisely enough for my liking. So like whenever I first start the car, I'd have to rev the car up a little bit, like by a little bit, I mean like 2,500 and then it would like register properly. Like if you didn't rev it up first and go to like start, the car wouldn't like the throttle like you give it like half throttle and it would barely move the the rpms i don't know it was something weird we tried we scaled it a bunch and it was good there for a minute and then i don't know just something weird about it so anyway i left the, the four bar on a throttle pipe and then three bar the oem three bar in the manifold i'm not going above 30 pounds anyway um, my boost gauge kind of reads i guess a little bit off from what my logs say so i thought i was going over 30 pounds all the time but I wasn't because I switched sensors and then did logs and it showed that I was still staying under 30 pounds, which is what I wanted. And apparently over 30 PSI, the stock um, piston rings don't really like that. And we're trying to have a good reliable build here until the motor's built, then we can we can go ham next year or the year after whenever that happens. But build head next year, 100%. Um, still have no info on the brakes. I messaged dude earlier. I haven't got anything back. Hopefully they'll get shipped out like this weekend. Hopefully it gets back to me tonight or tomorrow. Really want to have brakes on for the next couple of events that are that are left. We only have we got a, an event in Lubbock next weekend, and then maybe a, a Roswell event, and then two more events here in um, October, and then maybe one in Roswell as well. So I want to have those brakes on and uh, my special stall set up and be able to at least test that a little bit before I deploy. So there's enough rambling. I'm gonna go walk the track and. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. Hopefully, I'm not in the first run group. Oh, another thing, I need to go like extra hard in the first runs of the morning as we do four and then four because those freaking sprinklers come on. If you guys remember the, the last event, the sprinklers came on, ruined my whole thing for the after the afternoon, but the later runs because of the water on the track. And I think I could have made a lot more progress after watching people uh, how they took their lines. So anyway, we'll get to it here. So funny enough, I go to take my car up to tech, and right after he's untaking the car, I get back in the car. I left the car running. I get in, check engine light, motherfucker. I get over to the car, pull out the OBD in, scan it, misfire. Um, yeah. So I had like, like right at about 10,000 miles on these plugs, and that's what the life of of the Brisket R12s is 12 or 10,000 miles. So luckily, I had a brand new set already waiting. I bought them like two weeks ago. I had them with me, so I sat here, change out spark plugs. Put them back in, all's well. I turned the XDS back up to strong. I had it on, I set it back to normal for the last event, or before the last event, I think. I don't think I ran XDS on strong the last two events, it was that double Saturday, so. Um, and I think that actually would've helped me in the canyons too. I should've turned it up, I totally forgot, but. Um, I turned it back up to strong. I put the dampening on all four corners from 20 down to 10, and uh, walked the track twice. The first time I was walking and I got lost and got corrected, I just need to remember the one spot. It's when you're going um, back up, kind of like the straight. The straights look more straight on that map, but they're not really. Uh, they got some, some good hoo-hahs in there, but <laughs> um, it's gonna be an easy easy track-ish in terms of like getting lost. It's it's not gonna be hard when there's just that one spot that messed me up, but. 
it should be pretty good should be be able to carry some good speed through here I'm gonna have to see I'm definitely gonna be shifting in a second so I gotta see and feel uh, how that goes and this will be the first autocross event with the launch control kind of turned up we changed it a bit since the last time um, so I forgot I forgot to mention that earlier but now we got new plugs in I'm kind of nervous. The two of my like main-ish rivals aren't here. The guy in the, the STI swap WRX, and then uh, Homie in the S2000, which they could still show up. There's there's still plenty of time, but they're not here. So we'll see how this night goes. It's gonna be exciting, and especially for the finale of the season for night events. This is a good map, really good map. So I think they're about to call uh, drivers meeting. That was the third lap. I didn't get a video of it, but I just did my third lap out of four for the first round. I did 46 something, a high 45. Now it's a 45.3. The Focus RS beside me, he's getting better and better each run. He just dropped in at 45, so I think he's 45.7 now. So he's, we're kind of close to being neck and neck here in the first round. Um, second group, they bumped this all together. So I went from uh, three run groups to two. So they pushed everybody together. And then the there's a Cor Corvette and a Z, a couple, well, no, the other Z's here, but there's still some really good competition in the second run group. But uh, so far, I'm holding first place. We'll see how this goes. I'm gonna have, see if Emily will record my fourth for me. I'll look, I'm still got my GoPro on. And I wonder why it dies so often, because I always forget to turn it off. But yeah, we'll see how this goes. Hopefully the sprinklers won't affect us second round, but this fourth lap, I need to, step it up tire pressure is actually staying pretty low it's 79 degrees out so that's super nice but uh so far so good i'm extremely happy extremely extremely happy and launch control is much better now Not to jinx myself or anything, but uh, run group A, we just did our first four runs. Still got run, run group B to do their first few, first four runs. I can't even talk right now. I'm so excited. But um, I don't even know if I can get this thing to focus on. There we go. You can see FTD, me. You can see the standings. I got the RS right behind me. The uh, 30th edition GLI behind him. But there's still a lot of good, really good drivers in this next group. The Fiesta ST is no joke. I don't care what you guys think about Fiestas. They're they're really, really good autocross cars. You got Gerald and his C6. You got Don, I believe is his name, and the 370Z. Um, you got the wagon out there. You got, you got the Chevy SS. So there's a lot of cars. And yeah, and the GTI, did I say GTI? So... 
I'm still at a run for my money, but so far so great. And these sprinklers just turned on. You can see my car is getting all wet back. I don't know, maybe you can't, but the track is starting to get a little wet. Hopefully they shut off and it'll be able to dry up, but we'll see. I'm gonna go out and work the track now and uh, yep, I'm excited. Change another setting in the in the computer, and that really changed things. Holy shit! God damn, that's gonna be very nifty. I don't want to wrap them there like that. Yeah, at least one of the jacks didn't tap. I didn't look at my last two times yet, but I did improve on my second run in the second half there. Um, I'm hoping I did a lot better. It felt a lot better. I changed the XCS setting from high to medium. I let the car rotate a little bit more. The brakes were intervening a little bit more than what I'd like to. So we changed that. Car felt great. I need to remember these settings. Medium, have the dampeners set to 10 instead of 20. Um, oh my God. Oh no, JJ's smoking bad. I think homie just blew his turbo. All right, so I didn't I didn't even look, but people came up to me and were like, oh my God, I can't believe you did it. I was like, don't tell me, because you got me by three tenths. Like, damn it. Well, so I got my first place back, which was, I mean, I was out there, I was hustling. Like that shit was not easy. I think she got a video of my last lap. So if you're watching this, thank you, thank you. But uh, holy shit, now I gotta see I have people on, still on my ass, and the, the second group is about to go. So we'll see if uh, the Corvette's able to beat it. The 370Z is right there too. Um, the what is it? Focus S or Fiesta ST's doing pretty well, and then the uh, seven and a half GTI is doing really well too. So we'll see. Fingers crossed that I can hold down this first place. This is why I don't like being in the first run group. I always want to be in the last run group. That way I can at least watch, the, usually we have three run groups, so usually I can watch the first two, get a good idea of a line, then I can test my line, and then wherever I mess up, I got two more run groups in the second half where I can really pay attention to where I was messing up, and then fix my line again, and then I am at the end, so if, you know, everyone else is done, and it's down to me in the last run group, and I can actually focus on beating someone's time rather than getting a good time and then seeing if I'm gonna get beat. I don't, I don't like being in the first run group, so. Anyway, we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna get a couple clips. We got the wagon out there getting sideways and uh, Fiesta ST is fun to watch, so. Yeah.
crazy night Corvette came back beat me out by 0 0.051 he was 43 590 and I was 43 639 that close 0 0.051 of a second like that is ridiculous ridiculous <laughs> but he's a really good driver we've been going back and forth now all season so it's 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 good fun it keeps each other on our, on our toes um, I'm not even man tonight was great um, putting that XDS to medium and dropping the uh, the adjustment on the struts made for a really fun night really really fun night so and this was the last night event of the season so now they'll all be Sunday morning events for the next two which kind of screws me because I have to be at work at midnight on Sundays and I won't be it'll be I'll have to be here at like 7 in the morning to like 2 in the afternoon and then drive back and then sleep just a couple of hours before going to work but I deploy not too long after that, so it's really whatever. Seat time is, is everything. Next week, Lubbock, another early event, Saturday morning. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm stoked. I need to get these. Hopefully T-Mobile sends me my damn card since they bought out my phone plan, whatever, whatever. I need to get these end links in. Uh, my brakes are still lacking pretty bad. So hopefully that gets all sorted before at least the last two events. So anyway. Thanks for watching. I had a badass night. Oh, I did get an award. Boom. Uh, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Look out for the next one. Uh, Thursday's or Friday's video will be from the Big Euro show in Cali. I forgot to like edit and put that up. It was just sitting there. I was like, wait, did I not? I went through and looked. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's a late video. <laughs> so that's my bad. But yeah, badass night. Very happy with the car. She's about to hit 69,000 miles here soon. Very soon. 333 miles exactly. It'll be 69,000. Crazy. Probably hit 70 before we... Definitely going to hit 70 before we deploy. So, anyway, like I said, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you on the flip-flop.